Hi there everyone, it's Commodore Jim here with um, a review a little bit different to Elliot's. This is the Eagle Moss official Star Trek Starships collection. Mm. And as you can see, we're quite far into the collection. We're at issue 140. So anyone accusing them of scraping the barrel a little bit for the ships might not be too far off the mark. And as we can see, we've got the Federation Tug. Now, one interesting thing about the magazines is that on the last page, they have this little section where it tells you which episode they're actually in. Now, you can tell that this is, as I say, scraping the barrel because I have to actually have to look at these. So this is from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, A Time to Stand. The next one we're gonna look at is the Tapau, the Vulcan Tapau which I believe is from the episode Unification of Next Gen. Let's have a check. Yes. So there we go, I actually recognise that one. That's pretty cool. The magazines themselves are not too bad. You get um, a fair bit of information. You get some nice shots of the ships. I think they've shrunk the magazine since it started. It felt like you used to get a lot more for your money. You usually get a nice double page spread like that which is quite good if you're into what bits are what on the ships and everything. You usually get some um, like concept art and whatnot. And then for some reason we have an article on Darmok. Hmm. Okay, next gen season five we're going for, so there's a, a link for you. So the magazine in terms of content's actually pretty good. The good thing about it is it shows you what the next one is, so that's the Promelian Battle Cruiser, which will come on to when I get my next delivery. The other one that came this month is the special edition, which is the Space Dock. And this is one that people who've been following this collection have wanted pretty much ever since the start. So it's been hotly anticipated. Oh, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm going to move on and show you the actual models. 